That's my belt. I like that. Let's try something new. Oh, pens? All right, friends. Um, anything on our minds that we'd like to offer in our prayers today? Um, today we're, we're kind of remembering um, our uh, ministry to children right, a little bit um, as we think about just child protection. Anything on our minds that we'd like to offer in our prayers today? Um, Today we're we're kind of remembering yes yes Richard Hansen our yeah, uh, ministry to uh, children today a little bit yeah as we think about from child protection uh, like that um, so yeah poor prayer, fellow prayer. yeah just any other just things going on yeah yeah you just you know it's one of those things right just you fall and you break something yes yes Richard Hansen yeah he's um, yeah. He's recovering from. Yeah, they're, they're kind of uh, he had broken his uh, ankle. Yeah, poor fellow. Yeah, just recovered just as they came over here. Yeah, yeah so it just you know it's one of those things, like right? Just yeah, you fall Washington, and you break something like that. Yeah. Man, so poor fellow's been through it. Here's Hanson, poor fellow. His wife and daughter. Yeah, they're they're kind of. He had broken his uh, ankle, I think, a couple of years ago. Okay, well, why don't we keep those folks in our prayers and uh, and. Or something like that. Again. So, Lord Jesus, thank you again. As always, so, so poor fellow's been through it here. And to grow up in it and to apply it to our lives is a privilege. And mm -hmm. thank you for that. Send us your spirit today to uh, enlighten okay. our Okay, well, why don't we keep those folks in our prayers and fill us in wisdom um, and understanding we'll that comes from above. Lord Jesus, thank you again. Uh, Lord, uh, as we always pray to be able to gather here your as they word face so many in it, different challenges and temptations in this world. Send us your spirit today to be able to enliven our Come to a place like our like faith and, and fill us with wisdom and love. understanding that comes from above. Um, dear Lord, gives them such uh, Lord, security. Lord, we offer a prayer today for children as they face so many just ask different challenges and temptations in this evils world, in the world and temptations um, to, to, to be able to uh, close come to, to you a place all like, like faith and, and use and us as, as parents and adults in their lives to um, dear Lord, encourage gives them such security and peace and to you in, in, in their life. Every need. Um, we just ask and to Lord, we, we watch over them, protect them, them from as he recovers in the world of temptations, um, guard risks, keep them may that close to you to all their lives and long and, and use and us as his parents and adults in their lives to all this us, Lord, keep them safe. Uh, you're direct them to you and help in, in, in every need. All and right. we pray turn on the uh, rich hands. Hands. We're going to start at Mark yeah. chapter yeah. 1, verses 35 to 39 to today. And if it is your will, Lord, quickly. All this we ask, Lord, in your name. Amen. All right. We turn on the PowerPoint tape. We're going to start at Mark chapter 1, verses 35 to 39 today. Here you go, sir. Just for you. All right, Mark chapter 135. Yeah, I'll take You'll take it. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Just for you. I'll leave it right here. Give us all a chance to get there. All right, Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 39. Mark chapter 1. 35 to 39. Would anyone like to read those words? I saw a chance to get there. Thank you, sir. Read them for us. Mark chapter 30, Mark 31. Mark chapter 1. 35 to 39. Would anyone like to read those words? Thank you, sir. Read them for us. Jesus got up early in the morning, while it was still dark, why I thought. Then he went to a solitary galaxy, praying there, preaching in such a synagogue, and praying on search. All right. There's that again. Okay, so, um, again, like we've been doing, take a few minutes here and uh, just uh, discuss the, the story. Anything that, that sticks out at you, anything that's interesting. Maybe questions you have, and uh, we'll take two or three minutes right. at your tables. And again, just do okay, that. okay. So, off you go. Um, again, like we've been doing, take a few minutes here and uh, just uh, discuss the, the story. Anything that, that sticks out at you, anything that's interesting, maybe questions you have, and uh, we'll take two or three minutes at your tables to just do that. Okay, off you go.
seconds here to wrap up. Three. All right. Well, guys, interesting stuff two. here. Two. One. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, give you five you seconds to here to wrap up. Very interesting stuff here. Anybody want to share some things they just put on their table? Aren't you? Yeah. Three. He's been busy the day before, yeah? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. What do you want to share? What do you want to share? Very interesting okay. stuff here. Yeah. Anybody want to share some things they discussed at their table? <laughs> they tracked it down. We know where you hide out, Jesus. We're going to get it. He's been busy the day before, yeah? I'm sure we are going to invite everybody. Okay. Yeah. Jesus appears to be tireless here, doesn't he? Okay. At least tracks him down. We know where you hide out, Jesus. We're going to be just, you know, that gospel motivation in the local people to, to share and share and share, but also recognizing he needed time okay. for himself. So Jesus appears to be tireless, tireless yeah. here, doesn't he? All right. How much of that Other is guy. Anybody Anybody else want want to play? Comment on stuff that can ever do, or yeah, how much of it is just, you know, that gospel motivation in the local yeah. people to, to share and share and share, but also recognizing he needed time also, for himself. Right. Still a person. Still yeah. 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 All right. Other guy, anybody else want to comment on something they bumped into? Yeah, question. Yeah, so you have the sending out of the 72, and Jesus commissions them to go, and, and that's part of their early training, you know, at, at seminary, so to speak, the, the, the seminary that, that Jesus was running here, right? Um, so he, uh, yeah, so yeah, you have the sending out of the 72, early on, which is interesting because them to go, Judas and is scary. And that's part of their early training, demons, you know, at the seminary, so to speak, you know, and the seminary that Jesus was running right? here, Yeah, right? what was going on um, in his mind? So he, he uh, saw the success of the work, yeah, right? He had so given them something that's already early on. Which is interesting yes, they had, because they had Judas, not at this would have been a part of that. This is still early enough okay, in Jesus' ministry. Um, yeah, so that will come in all the bit later. And they also didn't want to share right? yeah. what was going on in his uh, mind, even as he saw the success of the word, right? So it's just, that's always an interesting thought. But yes, they had, they had not at this moment, this is still early on in Jesus' ministry. Yeah, so no, what do you make of that? Yeah. Anything else people want to share? Yeah. His answer, verse 37, his response answered to him, right. everyone was looking for you. Yeah. We're the people now, let's go elsewhere. No, what do you make of that? Yeah. Now the spirit of God was gather around him. Okay. His what answer, answer, personal time and his response. Sure. Answer, he wouldn't right. do it so he said, so well, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It's not said in there. Correct. Yeah, we have to kind of make a couple of assumptions there, right? But, but clearly he sees the need, right, to go out and place. Gather around him. Okay. Want a little personal time and... Sure. Uh, yeah. That's not said in there. Correct. Yeah, we have to kind of make a couple of assumptions there, right? But but clearly he sees the need, right, to go to a different place. place. Yeah. I think like uh, yeah. I mean, 
Yeah. Uh, Jesus is very careful throughout his ministry that the, keep our eye on the ball here, right? The message of, of the coming kingdom, right? The kingdom of God is near, even in a different place, right? This is yeah. his message. So I think, yeah, like, I don't uh, think he wants yeah, I mean, to. Yeah, I mean, he's going to go down that rabbit hole throughout his ministry. So he's going to heal. He's going to cast keep out our, our eye on the ball like here, that, right? But, the message uh, of not the too coming far. kingdom, right? right? Not the too far. God is near. Right? This turns into the right? message. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, he, I don't think he wants. Anything else to, here? I mean, yeah. he's going to go down that rabbit hole because he loves people. So he's going to heal. He's going to cast out demons, things like that. But not too far. Right? Not too far. So that's all it turns into. Okay. Anything else here? Yeah. Well, and, and we were talking about this with uh, Jim and Jan there. Uh, that uh, you know, you can read chapter one and five minutes yeah, right. Right. and blast through. Right. But we're going so kind of bit by bit here, and every time, right? Every time, the last what four or five weeks we've been talking. Well, about and, and we were talking about kind of hits you like, wow, this was kind of a problem. Um, in those days, yeah. That, I, think, uh, I think something that is... You know, you could read chapter one in five minutes, right? And blast through it. But we're going so kind of bit by bit here. And every time, right? Every time, the last four or five weeks, we've been talking about this. So it really kind of hits you like, wow, this is kind of a problem in those days. Yeah. Well, I think, I think something that is... Oh, interesting. There's all yeah. that evil worship actually going on. There's more evil worship going on in the northern region. This reminds me of a funny game that a well Sunday school teacher developed called Kings of Israel. The game, and if you've ever played the board game Contagion, it's sort of like that. Oh, interesting. Uh, so unbelief spreads in an area, but if you get a priest or a prophet to build an altar there, then it kind of disappears. And this reminds me of a funny game that a well Sunday school teacher. The, the whole point of the game is to teach you the kings of Israel. It, if you've ever played the board game so, Contagion, uh, at a certain point, like sin that. is just sin. And, uh, so unbelief the, spreads in an area. But yeah, that's an interesting hypothesis, right? Because, right? because it kind of disappears. Um, and you go, <laughs> um, but dealing with that um, region, the, the whole point of the game is to teach you the kings of Israel. That's the point of the game. And at a certain point, sin is just sin. You know, the twelve tribes of Israel, right? Ten of them. Yeah, that's an interesting hypothesis, to the world because into the Assyrian Empire. Judah and Benjamin remain. Dealing with that region so they come there, back, that had been the northern kingdom. kingdom. There's going to be that mixing and, of cultures, um, and that's the Samaritans. Yeah, right? the, the twelve tribes right? of Israel, right? Ten of them group there disappear so, to the world. Uh, to, that, to that is interesting, Empire, right? That is only Judah and Benjamin <laughs> remain. He does do right? a lot of. So they come back. More ministry in that area because there's going to be that mixing of cultures, and that's the Samaritans, right? That's yeah. the half breed group there. So, um, so that is interesting, right? That is interesting, and he does do a lot of um, more ministry. In that yeah, when Sennacherib came in yeah. and invaded the northern lands, which is uh, in yeah. the book of Second Kings, um, they take him out. And, Mix them in with the Assyrian Empire, and they don't ever get to come back. So, yeah, when so that's always been my theory for and how the wise men northern lands knew so, uh, about the coming of the second king. Jews, was, um, they take them out and mix them in with the Assyrian Empire. The ten tribes had they don't uh, ever get to come back. Uh, so, that's always been my theory the, uh, for how the wise men the world had knew about how those wise men learned about. Ten tribes. Anyway, uh, it's just a theory. We don't really know a whole lot. <laughs> All right. The ten tribes. But had, this whole yeah, um, this whole concept of demon uh, possession. Yeah, you know, it's mixed in. Seems to be a pernicious uh, issue. The world, there, for sure. And it does kind of make you that's wonder how those about wise men um, learned about uh, the coming about, king of Israel. So, anyway, it's just yeah, how much we, we see really it in our about. life and and where. All right. Where this. But this whole yeah, this whole concept of demon possession. Yeah, you know, it's just. Seems Drug to be in their issue. mind, yeah, they're, they're, or for they're, sure. It does kind of make you wonder so about wrecked by um, whatever that that is about coherent, or am I dealing with something? Yeah, how much we see it in our life, and, and where so where this the line is seems to be that person. If you're dealing with you know, somebody and they tell you stuff in their, their mind, past, you know, that that just nobody else in their life will know so you're dealing with the by whatever that's what they're going to do. They're going to bring that stuff, or and they're going to do it to make you feel guilt. That's the power the devil has over us. 
line skills. seems to be right. so he wants if to you're bring out all the stuff from your past, stuff from your past, past to inspire you to guilt, else in the whole to despair, world to reject no, Jesus. You're dealing with the demon. So that's pastors they're gonna who do, do, they're going to bring that um, stuff up. Work like and in, they're going to do it to make um, you feel guilt. Have areas that are heavily influenced by shamanism is guilt. Which doctors, right. so he, he like, wants to bring out all the stuff from your past to inspire you to guilt with some regularity. Jesus, right? And so pastors who do I've never experienced this, but I'm told that the way you kind of handle he areas that are heavily influenced by like shamanism. You know, Mel, do you want to be our demon? Which doctors, person. you know, like some of our He's not really deep. But let's say deal with this kind of stuff with kind of stuff. Yeah. some regularity. Uh, let's say poor Mel and, is, um, is, right? I'm told, I've too. never experienced so, this. Um, I'm told that we're going to exercise kind of the demon. Handle this. Well, like a couple of days you know, before, Mel, do you want to be our the demon group of people that are going to be involved in this. He's not really deep. Let's say they're And they're just going to confess their sins to each other. That's what they're going to do. Let's say poor Mel is anything they've ever done, like all so, the deep dark um, secrets that they were going to exercise the demon. Out. Well, because like, like a couple of days before, demon, before poor Mel is going to be people that are going to be going to expose all of be together to everybody to confess their sins to each other. That's what they're going to do. That's it. Play all of them. So you just got to spend a couple of days deep dark secrets that they hold in their hearts. They got to get those out. Which is all really good stuff, right? Like poor Mel has been lying on the power of Christ. Demon is going to. Expose it all to kind of gut wrench to everybody. They spend an awful lot of time power, trying to avoid right? that's the power that's at play. So, so you've just got to spend work, a couple of days kind of done that, then you're ready to and face this thing. It's going to be all really good stuff, right? right? Like you're and other things about you that maybe you've forgotten more, about, right? But he sure has kind of gut wrench, right? So you're just you have to go in there with your trying to avoid talking about this, right? Fully in place and knowing it's hard work. But once you've kind of done it, then you're ready to face this thing. So it's going to expose you know things like that. So that's and other things about you that maybe it's not that about, right? You're coming into contact with the demon, right? So you're just you have to go in there with the armor of forgiveness. The idea that fully in place. Things knowing that the people past around you are just going to be trotted out into the light of because day they find out things about you. That's or the part of you know, things like that. So that's what makes it hard. Really, really hard. It's not that so, so you're coming into contact um, with a demon per se. So you just got to go into it be prepared for that. Once you know the, the idea that that's what's going to happen, the things of my past are not just going to be trotted out into the light of day. That's what it is. You're going to be. That's the part. And this is why I think like the demons. Just for no competition so, with Jesus, because he had um, no guilt for that. So you just got to go into to it bring up. prepared for that. Right? Once you there's know that, nothing, that, that and there's what's gonna like, there's some evidence of the perfection and, uh, of Christ. Then, then you're ready. Um, then you're, is the demons never can bring, bring up anything, be, right? And this so is why I Jesus think like the demons he was truly just for no competition with Jesus, because he had no they were afraid of him to bring up. They had no power. They could nothing. And there's like there's some evidence. Do any perfection with Christ? They were worried um, is that the demons he was never going to bring up anything most of the time, right? To, I know who you Jesus are, right? Because he was 100% perfect. So, right? um, so, so they were afraid. It's a really of interesting him. dynamic there. there. They had no um, power, especially because we not bumping into it here. So, um, do anything, right? They were just. The they were worried that he was going to do something to them most of the time, right? I know who you are, right? Get away! I don't sure. So, um, so it's a really interesting dynamic there, right? Um, especially as we keep bumping into it. So, um, <laughs> right. Sure. Yeah, right. So, you know, the the idea of intrusive right. thought or something like that, right? I wish I had a good <laughs> right. explanation for how that works, spiritually speaking, right? Other than, you know, my sinful nature is the ally of the devil, right? Yeah, right. So, so it's going to constantly you know, the, the idea of an intrusive thought or those kinds like of that, things. Right? And so the I kinds of things I expose good myself to. Explanation for how, right? That you know, sinful things, spiritually people, speaking, sinful right? situations. Other than, right? you know, my sinful take nature is the ally of my sinful nature, of the devil, right? and from so within, it's gonna you know, the devil's influence then just when he comes, he's part of that. Which is not the same as so demon possession. The kinds of things I expose myself to. Kind of taking over, right? You know, sinful things, sinful people, sinful situations, right? Are gonna take advantage of And then you got Hollywood's version of it, which and from within, you the devil's influence then really Becomes part of that, which is not the same as demon possession, which is you know a demon kind of yeah. taking over. Well, right. We, you know, we talk about brain, superhuman strength. We talk about different voices. We talk about well, you know, right. Bringing yeah. up, and then you got Hollywood's yeah. version of what people are thinking, thinking about, or what sure is not nearly as realistic. Those are kind of your telltale signs. 
that you're dealing with the demon possession. So, yeah. So, yeah, well, right, we, so we talk about superhuman strength, strength. We talk about different voices. You know, we Satan's talk about in our lives, you know, bringing up um, what you are thinking about or what people have done or has that nobody knows idea. about. And Those are kind of your telltale You know, you make yourself that you're prone to these things. things. That's why we warn our, our kids and cats. So, yeah, there is we certainly a different map between influence. Right? Don't get involved in witchcraft. You Satan's influence right? in our lives. messing around with those Ouija boards. If you're messing around with tarot cards, you're messing around with control of a person. Your friends, you think it's all fun and games, but all of a sudden it opens up. You know, you make yourself prone to these things. That's why we warn our kids in catechism class when we go through the second commandment, right? Don't get involved in witchcraft, right? You're the messing around with those Ouija boards. If you're messing around with tarot cards, you're messing around with Catholics. Your friends, you think it's all fun and games, but all of a sudden it opens up that door to influence, right? People still retain the ministry of Catholics similar to what the Catholics and then they're trying to cruise in the Caribbean island. And that and what came out of that was voodoo. Right. Down yes. Mostly in the 80s. So voodoo is a big still retain and Catholicism. And a priest can't do speak. much about that. And that and got trying to Christianize uh, exported in. And that, uh, the what came out of that was voodoo. Around right. The yes. And, and, sure and so voodoo, voodoo is a mixture of the effort. They became and free Catholicism. And the priests can't do much so of that's embedded. And I got exported, uh, export embedded into uh, that right uh, space mostly around the Well, and, and, and of course, Roman Catholics, you know, the, the conquistadors and the, the priests that came along with them, you know, their, their problem, of course, is going to be that they don't bring the pure gospel with them, right? They bring works righteousness with them and the ritualism and things like that. that well, became, and, and, of course, Roman Catholics, you know, what you know the, the conquistadors and the, the priests that came so along with them, you know, their, their problem, of course, is going to be that they don't bring the pure gospel with them, right? They bring works righteousness with them and, and the ritual that's not going to be that, that yeah. became... All right. What motivated everything they did in the Roman Catholic Church. So well, the thing is too is that they let it happen. Yeah. Because the alternative was to destroy. Like a shaman the kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Right. That's not going to be a good way to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, it's it's very much a part of the culture. Yeah. And, and you know you, you gotta be attentive like a shaman, to shaman, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so, uh, yeah, go ahead. There was an article Well, it's, it's very much a part of the culture. Yeah, it, it, you know, you, you got to be attentive to that, right, as we're ministering to people. Okay, so, uh, yeah, go ahead. There was an article Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, you know, it, what is it? It's the natural knowledge of God that doesn't have the revealed knowledge, right? The natural knowledge is I know God exists and I know I am accountable to him. Absolutely. Okay, so that's the natural yep. knowledge. Revealed knowledge is, hey, let me tell you yep. who this guy yeah, is and what he did to you know, save it, you. Um, but when you don't have the revealed knowledge, knowledge, right, scripture, what are you left with? That doesn't so have you just a reveal with knowledge, things, right? The natural right. knowledge the natural is, I know God exists, and, and I know that. I am accountable to him. Okay, that's the natural knowledge. Revealed knowledge is, hey, let me tell you who this God is and, and what he did right. to save so you. then you kind of got that But when you don't influence. have the revealed Which knowledge, is really right? scripture, because um, what are you left with? And this so is my culture, right? This is what I've learned from my tradition. This is how we deal with and all that things. It comes from, you know, it's not always healthy, spiritually speaking. And uh, right, so then you kind of got okay. So all right, we're talking a lot about demon possession, really but let's not big, because, miss the big um, picture here. Jesus, this is my culture. Around, so what I've um, learned from my tradition. This. this is how um, we deal with these all right. kinds of things. Who needs to hear this it's, story? Right. You know, so again, a couple minutes. Not always. Tables. Spiritually speaking. Who needs spiritual. to hear this story? Yeah. And the person who. Okay. The so all right, we're talking a lot about demon possession, but let's not big miss the big picture here. Jesus ministry around. So of course everyone does this. Um, of course everyone. All right. Who needs to hear this story, right? So again, a couple minutes, discuss at your tables. Who needs to hear this story? And the person who. The person who is usually a good product. Of course everyone does. Of course everyone does. Thank you.
Let's give you one more minute here. Practical application that might be like a calling system that our city does. 
to force you to think this through occasionally, right? Yeah, you know, like, like I'm on the six month program. Now. <laughs> So, I think, like, I'm eligible again. Uh, like I'm eligible again in six months, so I'll we'll, like, get probably another chance here. So, you know, really? Odds are. Odds are. Yeah. 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 So you, like, you want to confiscate my phone? Yeah. So basically, you need I'm eligible again. In, I'm eligible again in six months, so I'll we'll, like, get probably another chance here. So really? Odds are. Odds are. Odds are. So you can, if you want to confiscate my phones, and, uh, yeah, right, okay. So you can your phone. There's this, there's this notion of, uh, you know, Jesus kind of challenging us in everyday circumstances, right? What's, what's Jesus up to here? Maybe kind of keeping this question in mind, right? Am I too comfortable spiritually? Yeah, right, okay, good. Uh, there's this, there's this notion of. Uh, not you know Jesus kind of not that we should become martyrs in everyday ourselves and make ourselves. Right. What's, what's Jesus you know, going to? Do? Right. I can go look for some spiritual trouble. What, what spiritual I, trouble can I, I go and find? Right? I like that spiritually. Um, where I'm at. I'm not I just being challenged. I think the self examination uh, in my life spiritually right? land on this not, a little bit. Um, not that we should become martyrs ourselves and make ourselves. I need to you know, go and um, I can go look for some spiritual trouble. What spiritual trouble can I go and find? I like that. I haven't tried that. Neighbor down the street. Self-examination in church or share my faith with a little bit. Kind of push myself out there and try something. That kind of comfortable, comfortable spirit thing, right? Do I need to be fair? Um, you know, take a bold step in faith right. and try try something that I haven't tried. There's that neighbor right. down the street that I haven't yeah. invited yeah. to church or share yeah. my faith with. That, you know, by the way, that's really yeah. interesting. Push myself out there and try something. This that kind of stuff. Notion, haven't we? Maybe like fair opportunities to share the gospel that sort of sail right. through our lives unnoticed or or we can't. I think there's right. That's part of the reason why we're having this Bible study yeah. is to just that you know. By the way, this that awareness of every week a little bit more in our lives and look for those opportunities, and then we've got like some stories, opportunities to share gospel. Right? Sort of I got some, I got some cool cool story. Right? Like, 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 right? That's part of the class. reason why we're having this Bible study is to just all right. Get that awareness up a little bit more right. in our lives and look for those opportunities right. and then we've got some stories. Alright, how does this come to share? Right? How does I've this got some, to I got some what, what does this lead us to confess? Especially as you think about these things, things here. Is there time for All right. confession here? Let's give us a little or two to think on that. Go ahead and discuss right. at your table. Alright, how does this confront us? How does this confront us? What what does this lead us to confess? Especially as you think about these things here. Is there time for confession here? Let's give ourselves a minute or two to think on that. Let's go ahead and discuss at your table. Things to confess.
discussions here. All right. Wrapping up your discussions here. Spiritual priorities. I think a lot of people yeah. just look at their own one self rather than what Jesus is trying to do is pointing towards the Father rather than what Jesus is trying to do. What do you mean? Themselves. Okay, so like the, um, like misplaced you know, spiritual priorities. The law message yeah, exposes the sin. Here. What sin does this make me think of? Here. Any others? John, yeah. Well, what we were talking about here. Um, it's not about us. It's this whole um, thing. It's not about Christ. You know, what yeah, law message is, you know, exposes is here this on earth? What earth sin does this again. make me think he said it over and over and over again? Any others? It's about my father's house. Yeah. About my father's house. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
what's our good news in this story? The gospel. How are we? How does how does God and the Holy Spirit especially point out our forgiveness uh, here? Maybe take a minute just to discuss, and then we can talk about it as a group. <laughs> Christ in my place, 
We talk about that a lot, I think, in Bible stories. So I don't have to live in guilt. That I this is what he did in place of me. today's a new day. So when I look at Jesus, Jesus I see my son doing what I could never do. So, right? you know, doing again, the act of obedience is really important. Perfectly. Sometimes we miss in it my place place because we're not our focus is on the payment so that Jesus I don't have to live in guilt. I don't have to live in regret. Today's a new right. day. That's what, that's what my Savior died and lived and died for me. So, so, you know, so again, nice. the act of obedience Suffering is really important. Sometimes we miss it. He's also providing the perfect life that God gave man. that Jesus made. And that's a really recognize the payment is his, his perfect life. A lot of times when I'm that's talking what, to the, that's what the catechism that's like, what did Jesus do to save you from your sins? He um, died. So he's not just oh, yes. suffering the consequences. He's still not going to heaven. He's also what? providing the perfect Isn't that life enough? that God did. He died on the cross. And, and that's like, a really important yeah, but there's, there's more to the story here. What does God do? A lot of times when I'm talking to the well, perfect, are you perfect? Like, what did Jesus do to save you from your sins? He died. So how did that on the cross? How did that get you? Yes. The cross. Still not going to heaven. What? Isn't that enough? He died on the cross. Like, so, yeah, but there's, there's more to the story here. So what the mistake sometimes that gets made is, well, perfection. See, Jesus did, did it. it. No, but who was? So now Jesus you need to do it. So how did that, uh -oh. how did that get now to Now we're guilt. Right? Now we're guilt. Right? So there's this other we aspect want to avoid Jesus that, that we have to remember. Jesus did it. perfect life, too. It's been done. Now go and live out of thankfulness for what So the mistake sometimes that gets made is, see, Jesus did it. That's the good So now you need to do it, right? Uh-oh. Now we're guilt. Right? Now we're guilt motivated. We want to avoid that, right? Jesus yeah, did it. Give him that chance. It's been Just done. a little bit of Jesus. Now go and okay, live great. out of thankfulness for you. Right? That's, All right. That's the good news. We Let pray. us close with prayer here. We pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time spent. Yeah, in give, him, give him that chance. Help us Just now a little to bit see of Jesus. what you've done in okay, our place. Okay, great. Love that. Love that thought. To go and to live it, to share All right. what you've done for us. Let us close with prayer all here. You have done. In your name we pray. We pray. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time spent. All right, everybody. Word. Help us now to Blessings see what on you've done day. in our place. And to go and to live it, to share uh, what you've done for us. Yeah, out of joy and thanks for all you have done. In your name we pray. Amen.